Keep Climbing Girls by B. E. Richards, illustrated by R. Gregory Christie, published by Simon & Schuster Books for Young Readers. You could tell by the way Miss Nettie stood, hands on her hips, and on her forehead, an unbelieving frown. The word she was about to speak would indeed be profound. Come down out of that tree before you break your neck, she said. Come down. Then she'd whirl right round through the door, confident that she need say no more. But Miss Nettie hadn't reckoned with a little girl's ambition, one that she must satisfy at the risk of extreme contrition. What? Break one's neck from the very first bow? Ridiculous supposition. Why, for goodness sake, one can even see the ground. And my goodness, doesn't she know? The path of life goes up and up, not down. Miss Nettie pops out again to view the situation. Over her face there comes this time a look of consternation. You see that child ignoring me? Climbed right up to the middle of that tree. Obviously, this requires diplomacy. All right, she said, using the blade of shame. You're no little girl, she said, showing her disdain. You're a tomboy, that's what you are, and you're going to have a tomboy's scars. Then, with a mighty flourish, she'd whirl right round through the door, confident that she need say no more. But Miss Nettie hadn't reckoned with the wisdom of little girls, for even they know little boys have the upper hand in this world. The only way to make a bid for a girl's equality is to climb right up to the toppermost bough of the very tallest tree. And my goodness, you can see all the way to Hoden's grocery. Miss Nettie hurries out again and shouts out angrily. Come down from there right now, she says, her voice tight with fear. Come down from there right this minute, or I'll break your neck, you hear? But a little girl victorious can't hide her childish glee to see Miss Nettie so put out that she, a girl, could climb a tree. Though the braids be pulled and the ear be tweaked, it won't dim the brave adventure. The moral is, keep climbing, girls, and let no one prevent you.